The contour flange is a command used to create a sheet metal flange from an open profile sketch. This is a sketch-based feature, just like the extrude and revolve commands that is defined using a profile sketch and a straight edge on an existing face. The contour flange command can be accessed using the sheet metal ribbon on the create panel. Before getting started, it's good practice to set your default sheet metal thickness using the sheet metal defaults icon. I click the icon to verify the defaults, and then I'll move on to creating the contour flange. As with other sketch-based features, you create a sketch first, then select the command. I'll start a 2D sketch on the XY plane. and I'll create a U-shaped sketch that is 4 inches by 2 inches. This will serve as the overall shape of the sheet metal part. I don't need to use sketch fillets on any of the corners. Inventor will automatically convert sharp corners to round bends for me. Inventor will also automatically create the thickness of the part, so a single open contour is all I need for this sketch. I'll finish the sketch and then launch the contour flange command from the sheet metal ribbon. The contour flange window appears, and here I am first prompted to select a profile. When I select the sketch, you see a preview of the sheet metal feature. Notice that the thickness shown in the preview uses the sheet metal default thickness that was specified earlier. The first tab of the contour flange window is Shape. It allows you to define the basic shape and size of the sheet metal flange. I'll switch to a new view and use the icons here to apply the material to either side of the sketch profile, or both sides. Here is where I can specify the bend radius. The default value is equal to the material thickness specified in the sheet metal defaults. I can click the dialog box and adjust this value, and you can see the radius updates graphically. I'll set this to a quarter inch. I'll skip over this section for bend extension and discuss these options in a later lesson. At the bottom of the contour flange window, I can click the More icon here to expand the width extents. Here is where you can specify a distance dimension of the flange. I'll set this to 4 inches. This row of icons allows you to specify the side of extrusion in relation with the sketch. I can choose to have the extrusion flipped to the opposite side of the sketch or extruded from both sides using the mid-plane option. I'll set this to mid-plane. Just like other sheet metal commands, the tabs for unfold options, bend, and corner can be customized. I'll leave the default values here and with the contour flange parameters set, I'll click OK to finish. Here in the browser, I'll expand the contour flange feature, and you can see the sketch, bend, and corner features appear as children of the main contour flange feature. Next, I'd like to make a quick change to the bend radius. To edit the contour flange, I'll right-click the feature and select Edit Feature. I'll change the radius dimension to half an inch and click OK to finish the flange. Now I'll switch over to another example to show you how to create multiple contour flanges using a single sketch profile on an existing sheet metal part. Here I have a simple base flange. First, I'll create the sketch profile for the contour flange on this edge face of the base flange. With the sketch profile complete, I'll click on the sketch and select the contour flange icon from the pop-up. Again, I'll select the profile, but notice that when I do, no preview of the flange appears. 
This is because Inventor needs an edge to determine which direction the profile should be extruded in. I'll select this edge, and now a preview appears in the graphics area. I'll select another edge, and a second flange appears without any connection to the profile sketch. Notice the bend glyphs shown here. This icon provides you with the same ability to define width extents for individual flanges. I'll select it, click the checkbox, and here you can see the width can be defined using an edge, specified width, an offset, or a from to. I'll uncheck the box and click OK. Next, I'll deselect these two edges to remove the contour flanges and use a new selection mode. By default, the selection mode is set to Edge Select Mode. But when I toggle the icon for Loop Select Mode, then click this upper edge, you can see the contour flange is created around the entire surface of the base feature with automatically mitered corners. I'll select the Corner tab, and here you can toggle the auto mitering of the flanges. I'll leave this option enabled and make a quick adjustment to the gap size. To finish up, I'll click OK to complete the contour flange. The contour flange command is a powerful tool with many uses, allowing you to create complex sheet metal geometry using simple open profile sketches.